what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and to the final video in our four video series on the new legendary armors that people can fly have been showing us during this week armor week as they called it today we're going to be looking at technomancer and boy oh boy it's actually probably the one that excites me the most to be honest it is of course called the flame leper and um i kind of i didn't think this was going to be the one that they were going to show but so i'm pretty pretty stoked that it is going to be uh, on display today we're going to be looking at it as usual you know how the process works if you've been watching these videos so we're going to jump on over to the twitter account itself we're going to look at this little video beforehand and uh, then we're going to get right into it Aesthetic of this is really fucking cool. I like this a lot. Like I'm gonna be straight up. So again, trailer on point. Uh, when we go over to the bossified Outriders outpost screenshot here, uh, or rather snapshot of the gear we can see uh the the look of this is kind of like it's got some egyptian vibe though right it's it's pretty damn sleek looking i really like it um again i'm not a massive fan of like the fur and the hair on, on the gear pieces i don't know what it would have looked like without this on the side here but the fucking head is is delicious the, the gauntlets look great the legs look fucking awesome so um basically the flame lip itself as you can see here uh we also as as the trend has sort of been following and uh, we do get a couple of weapon reveals as well or rather in this case one weapon reveal so deathscape we know already that's of course what's causing those big green skull explosions in the trailer that we just saw now but decadence is something new here this is an automatic sniper rifle we're going to get a closer snapshot on that a little bit later now just some standard things here i mean it's this is running blighted rounds fixing wave and blighted turret and when we get to the set bonus just now which is hidden behind me old face uh basically this this plays a lot off the fact of that you want to get as many things toxic and also the fact that your fixing wave can now cause toxic which is pretty damn sweet so let's quickly jump out and look at the gear itself so we'll start with the headpiece again like i said this is like some weird mixture of undead and egyptian it's just really really cool looking the set bonus says inflicting toxic on an enemy three times transforms the status into blight fire now this deals more damage over time now two things right off the bat that i'm wondering about this is first of all can something have toxic and blight fire on it at the same time because once you hit it three times with to the third time with toxic it changes into blight fire now when you hit it the fourth time does it now have toxic and blight fire ticking on it both of them with this poison kind of like tick because that's pretty fucking sick first of all and secondly uh you know how potent is blight fire really gonna be is it like double as strong as toxic and uh, and so on and so forth but the bottom line is uh technomancer already especially firepower technomancer definitely delves into getting toxic onto as many enemies as possible but more specifically the ones that you're shooting at so that you can get all those damage stack effects like radical therapy and all of that just giving you way more damage to toxic enemies now with the inclusion of something like fixed wave uh, fi uh fixing wave in here and also turrets this kind of starts leaning towards ap now as well so i think at the very least you could potentially build a a hybrid or you could go perhaps full anomaly power here where you're diving so deep into the toxic and if blight fire is as potent as they are making it sound here then you could basically be building a dot an ap based dot uh, uh technomancer instead of one that's actually focusing on hitting crit spots with a you know tactical assault rifle or anything like that however let's start look at some of the mods so one of the first new mods that we have here is a blighted turret mod this is a focused discharge the turret discharges anomaly beams that deal a certain amount of damage every 0.3 seconds at up to five enemies within a five meter radius so instead of the usual sort of like corrosive spray the the toxic spray that comes out of the blighted turret uh this now it shoots a beam that can chain because it says up to five enemies so it chains between them and it's within a five meter radius and 
uh i'm pretty sure that i mean again it's difficult to gauge the damage values for real because because of course they're level dependent and because we don't actually have these levels in the game right now um it's difficult to compare it to for instance say something like a normal blighted turret and what would normal blighted turret's damage would look like at this level but this is probably higher than what a normal one would be at least that just kind of like makes sense to me then when we go over to let's do the chest piece next this has got party starter on it and it's got alchemical mastery i'm i'm definitely not saying that word right but that's what i fucking do over here uh so party starter says the strength of the skill is increased by eight percent for each enemy within the arena up to 100 percent so um i mean if there's like more than more than more than what is it 12 guys uh more than 13 guys then you're gonna get that 100 percent uh but even if there's like you know four dudes running around you're still getting like a nice flat almost 30 percent uh increase for this but the uh, fixing wave is a is essentially like a massive aoe it's a massive aoe heal and it's a massive aoe reload and all of that for the technomancer by default but this actually as we'll see now with the, some of the other mods actually then sort of turns it more into like a debuff buffing uh toxic kind of situation so when we look at alchemical mastery this is a blighted rounds mod now again i think blighted rounds still sort of in a way makes sense here in this build uh i'm very interested to try this with two turrets so 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 frozen turrets and the the blighted turret and fixing wave just do that and not use blighted rounds at all and just use as many mods as i can to build essentially triple turret techno again but like new age fucking crazy ass triple turret techno but then at the same time as well also sort of trying to build a firepower version of this deeply diving into blighted rounds but then with the additional assist that you get with these other things now um this mod for blighted round says that while the skill is active you receive a weapon damage or anomaly power bonus equal to 30 percent of your status power based on whichever is higher so again like i said hybrid possibility here for playing both sides quite deep in or like i said even though you're running around with blighted rounds and people you know old old school outriders might be looking at you going like holy shit but you're running around with blighted rounds is this a firepower trickster and uh, sorry technomancer and then you're just like nah bro i'm all ap so so that's pretty sweet um we are seeing a lot more mods with 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 this reveal uh, most of the other reveals give us one mod per armor piece we are seeing more with this reveal which is cool as well because it it really does sort of sketch the idea of what they're trying to do with this build or more specifically what this build could potentially or this gear could potentially be good at so then when we go over to the gauntlets itself here here we have license to heal and rapid reaction both of these are also two new ones so uh, license to heal fixing wave says um activating the skill grants a 10 percent we weapon damage bonus and four seconds of infinite ammo so again um the, i really like the interaction of all of these mods there's a lot there's a lot of like overlap and how one the mods sort of like feed into each other and everything this is really really cool and it, this is making fixing wave really fucking powerful which i i love and looking at the things that you can do with the pax trees for techno this is really really awesome for me I, I i'm super excited and i'm very very interested in getting some tests done on this rapid reaction is a tier one mod but this says it reduces the skill of blighted rounds by 50 percent now right off the top of my head i think blighted rounds is the bullet skill that has the longest cooldown time of the three um i think it goes something like uh volcanic rounds is the fastest and then would be the tricksters although volcanic and the trickster might be very close to one another and then of course we have blighted rounds coming in the back and that's due to if i remember correctly the nerf that was introduced to this right at the beginning when outriders came out and you know blighted rounds was so fucking hardcore not like it's not hardcore anymore but it was just so dominantly powerful that they increased the cooldown it's one of the things that they did but then last but surely not least let's have a look at the boots the boots also has one new mod on here for us bad medicine that's one of the ones which is actually shown in the the, the little vignette uh, that we watched the video this is fixing wave oh it's a fixing wave mod and this is overhealed players inflict toxic and deal and there's a damage based obviously on level for every percent of overheal in a 10 meter radius so basically an overhealed player deals toxic um in a pulse like pfft, like it, it shoots out like a toxic pulse for 10 meter that deals a certain amount of damage and i mean generally speaking it's i would imagine especially with the with the correct mods and with the correct setup of a pack tree and with the correct setup of like middle tree you know techno or something like that possibly even bottom tree 
that your fixing waves will generally always overheal players so this this can be something that can be incredibly strategically used when you have a trickster or a devastator that is up front in in, in the face of the enemy that you know hunt the praise in and then you trigger this and you get that nice pulse and then you put a couple of more bullets in them which are blighted rounds and then you hit you hit blight fire so yeah this is really cool now one last thing i want to do that i noticed while i was prepping for this is if you go back here of course we saw four of the five pieces so we actually get to see one additional tier three mod here and honestly in my opinion it's one of like the more impressive ones and this is virulent compound now this is on the pants of of of, of this set and this says deal 15 percent more damage to elites afflicted by toxic or blight fire uh affected elites explode when killed and they deal a certain amount of damage and they spread the status to other enemies within a five meter radius that's a pretty fucking great mod right there as well and again it means that if if you have an elite a captain something like that running around in a group of small ones if you pop him he's gonna spread and he has blight fire on him he's gonna spread blight fire and all of that to enemies that are around him in a five meter radius and it can essentially and again it feeds into this whole uh, chain reaction giving everything toxic poisoning the entire world sort of playstyle that you're already getting from deathscape with stigmatized which we see over here so yeah i uh color me fucking intrigued uh of course uh, i did mention that there is a one new weapon reveal as well and that's decadence great name i like it and it's such a perfect name for a sniper rifle this thing is completely made out of bone and green crystal fucking hot as shit um the tier 3 mod that's on here is relative theorem uh or sorry relativity theorem my bad that sounds a lot better than relative theorem sorry and then this says critical shots reduce one random skill cooldown by 10 percent now while and this is on a two second cooldown while this is not that like shit hot on on a sniper rifle in my opinion this as your third or your extra mod or something like that on a assault rifle of the tactical variant for example where you are going for crits the entire time is going to mean that you can just keep on plinging away at your cooldowns you can reduce a random skills cooldown by one percent um sorry critical shots reduce one random skill so it's one random skill by 10 percent which is way more powerful than one second so fucking that was that 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 would have been silly but by 10 percent which is which is pretty damn sweet and again you can practice every two seconds so out of every every you know 10 seconds of sustained combat you're proccing this basically five times as long as you're getting those critical shots of course which you should absolutely be getting and then one last time we can just have a look at deathscape uh, it's definitely it's such a good looking weapon i like this weapon so much that it's definitely worth looking at it fucking twice sexy beast but i gotta say like this catapults for me this catapults technomancer i thought right i thought obviously guys it's gonna be pyro i'm gonna dive into world slayer with pyro first gonna focus on pyro because i'm a pyro main and it is what it is but i always thought the strong second for me there would be trickster i always thought immediately after pyro immediately after i start looking around and i want to try something else i might dive into some some trickster that's not the fucking case anymore uh this looks damn damn intriguing and more importantly it looks like fun having this sort of play style of having to toxic everything while also offering utility to your team you're healing them you're causing them to explode with toxic you're weakening enemies with fixing wave where you know all of that it's just it's it's a all-inclusive kind of play style that i really like it, it means that you are exceptionally good at you know dealing damage and debuffing the battlefield but you're also very useful to your team so i like this a lot uh and i'm sure there are going to be some people that are going to like this a lot as well but let me know in the comments down below what you think about this and then of course like the big question is which one of the four armor reveals was you know the most impressive for you which one of the four do you think is uh is 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 the one that excites you the most and could potentially persuade you from if you're like for example a trickster main and now you're looking at one or two of these sets and you're going like hmm i might need to jump over the fence here but that's it for the video thank you so much for watching as always it's been an absolute pleasure looking at these with you guys and i've appreciated all the support the comments the views all of that it's been fantastic um, i want you guys to have a fantastic weekend a great morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video 
Fucking cheers. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me.